And there are so many theories about this. We are bombarded with this. We see people talking about the Freemason order, the Illuminati, the international bankers, the Zionists, alien consciousness. Even some groups are coming up, satanic type groups, new age type religions. All of these coming up and what we find in most cases is that all of these groups are worshiping a force. If you go to the highest level of these groups, you see they are doing a type of worship. It is not to God. It is not the God of Moses or Jesus or Muhammad, peace be upon them. It is another force. And they are worshiping this force. They are seeking and taking strength out of this force. And nobody can say exactly what it is, but Muslims have the bottom line. And Allah has told us, the truth has come and falsehood will vanish because surely falsehood is a perishing, vanishing thing. The Prophet peace be upon him said, there would come in the end of time, great liars, kathabun, dajjalun, to the point where they are false Christs claiming to be false prophets would lead you astray and they will come to you with a type of speech that you nor your parents have ever heard of before. Beware of them. Beware that they take you astray. Beware that they put you into a fitna, a trial and a, tempta and a temptation. And we are witnessing today with the advent of the new technology that human beings have the ability to send information throughout the planet simultaneously. We have the ability to witness events here in Australia that could be happening in other parts of the world. In Europe, we could witness these events. But at the same time, we can be confused simultaneously. The whole world can be lied to at once and they have the ability to twist around to to develop to put together images and sounds and to develop this story which although it is not true appears to be true and, and, and you know it's not true but you watch it as though it is true and it affects the way you think and so as the prophet peace be upon him said sadaqa rasulullah they will come to you with a type of speech that you nor your parents have ever heard of before. You have never heard this thing before. Sadaqa Rasulullah We begin to see the climax of a major change in society. The climax of a new world order. And we begin to see a type of integration between information technology and trade. We begin to see the economy, politics, culture, and ideology being transported simultaneously from nation to nation. And with this technology, with the ability to transport ideas, the very value systems of people, the way that they eat, what they enjoy to do, how they enjoy recreation, their racial concepts, their culture, their ideology being transported all around the world, a type of globalization. And with this boom in the information technology and with this major event that takes place, now it comes to a culmination and it starts to reach a high point. And so the innocent people, we look at this and we say, what is going on? What is happening to the world that had so many different varying views, different nations, different ways of approaching things that can complement each other? Now we see politics is stripped of real power, that the economy governs all social exchange. We see that the states serve the financial powers, power structures. That the real power is no longer in the hands of the generals, 
But the real power now switching to the hands of the people who run the economy, to the banking systems. And then we see that politicians play the role of public relations offices only to control the masses, either by lulling them to sleep or by terrorizing them. And then we see that the masses of the people become helplessly preoccupied. Their lives are now bombarded with a series of cultural events. And these cultural events start to become the most important things in their lives. The World Cup, the Major League Series, the rugby, the cricket, the hockey, the tennis, whatever the sport may be, we see whole nations coming behind sports and the national heroes become sporting people. Even in Saudi Arabia, even in our own Muslim countries, the national heroes are now the soccer players. Who kicks the little ball inside of a net? He becomes the hero of the nation when people are dying on the ground. But yet we become preoccupied with this. And it becomes a type of indoctrination happening to us. And with the use of powerful music playing on our emotions, with videos now being taken to the furthest extremes in the planet, people's thinking processes are changing. People are now in love with the superheroes, even confused about their own identity, trying to change themselves, change the color of their hair, change their eyes change the way they dress, change the way they talk on a global level. And then we see drug addiction reaching a point that humanity has never seen before. And after traveling to over 36 countries, looking at the Muslims and being with them, I have found that in all of the communities that the young people are, are being confused with drugs. It is pouring into our countries. No matter what form it takes, cocaine, LSD, psychedelic, depressants, put you up, put you down, confuse you, but create a false world and give you a false dependence so that you become dependent on the chemical. You forget about Allah. Your God becomes the pusher. Your God becomes the chemical. And so creating this dependency amongst the masses of the people. And then we see lethal social diseases being spread. And it is said that in Southern Africa, and Allah knows best what this really is, but they say that in some parts of Southern Africa, one out of every four people is HIV positive. It has reached this level. Now, whatever this HIV is, there's a lot of theories whether it is some germ warfare, whether it is something passed through homosexuality, whether it is a type of corruption. What some doctors have even said is that your immune system can break down by a number of factors. Not only a virus that they had never really located and shown us what it looks like, but the immune system can break down from malnutrition, from tuberculosis, from forms of malaria, and they've listed almost 40 ways that your immune system can break down. And if you take a test, you will be considered HIV positive. But whatever it is, it's killing us. It's killing us in large numbers. Then we see the planet malfunctioning. We're supposed to be rising in technology. Our life is supposed to be getting better. But the very planet that is created in order to serve us is malfunctioning. The air is becoming polluted. The water is becoming polluted. The animals are dying. They are cutting down the rainforests. They are destroying forms of life. And now we are getting strange forms of cancer. Other diseases, other lumps and, and tumors and things popping up in our bodies that we have never seen before. And it's happening all over the planet. And so what is happening in front of us? When people begin to speak out, 
when they try to protest what is going on, even in a legal way they are protesting, they find themselves either swamped with false information coming out of the technology or they find themselves terrorized. They find themselves in a state of fear. And so when the events happen as September 11th, the world changes. Those who are connected to the electronic technology are put into a state of fear and images are being placed in front of their eyes as the images were before and these images are connected to the geopolitical situation don't be fooled what is going on we see everything is moving toward one world state one world police force one world bank and one world unelected elite that rules over us not based upon the will of the people or democracy, but rules over because of control of the bank.